Hi friends. I just wanted to read to you about robins today. Since it's springtime and the weather's changed and everything's blooming and beautiful, I wanted to read about one of our favorite birds, um, which is a robin. I don't know if you can see this picture, but have you noticed these birds hopping around your yards? And they have either brown or gray backs and a bright orange belly. And maybe they're digging around in the ground looking for worms or insects. Those are called robins. And when the robins come back from the long winter and they come to start digging for worms, we know that spring is here. So I want you to look around because they're out there building nests and getting ready to have baby birds. Okay? So I wanted to read this, Robin's so Songbirds of Spring, and it's by Mia Posada. That's the author. That's the lady that wrote it. And there's our title page, Robin's Songbirds of Spring by Mia Posada. One early spring morning, bright and clear, in a budding tree, a robin appears. It has a rusty red breast under brownish gray wings. It hops from branch to branch as it sings. Soon the spring air is alive with the sounds of robins returned from their wintering grounds. Cheer up, cheerily, they sing at dawn, pecking their beaks at a damp morning lawn. They dig up insects and worms from the earth below and find trees on which tasty berries grow. Do you see he has a worm in his mouth? And here he's eating some berries. A male and female robin search for a nesting site. The sheltered branch of a maple tree seems just right. The female robin collects weeds from nearby gardens. Then she adds mud, which dries and hardens. Soft grass collected from the ground lines the nest cozy and round. You see they've made their nest with sticks and, dry, and uh, weeds and things, and then they put mud in it to harden the nest. And then she puts soft grass in the top so the babies will have a soft place to sit. Soon in the nest, three little eggs lie. They are light blue, the color of sky. The mother robin protects the eggs from cold and storm by sitting on them to keep them warm. Eggs can't keep themselves warm like we do. Do they have blankets that they cover up with? When you lie in bed at night, how do you keep warm? Baby birds and eggs need mothers to sit on them to keep them warm. In 12 days, there are sounds of tapping and scratching. What's gonna happen? I see little cracks. Do you see the cracks in the eggs? What's gonna happen? Cracks form in the eggs. The chicks are hatching. First come their beaks, then tiny pink legs. The chicks work hard to break free from their eggs. The newly hatched chicks look tired and wet. Their eyes are not even open yet. When they're first born, they can't open their eyes. They can only open their mouths. Look at those open mouths. I wonder what that means when they open their mouth. Do you think that means they're hungry? Are they telling their mom, please feed me, please feed me? I think that's what they're doing, look. The mother and father robins take turns feeding their chicks, insects, and worms. Is that what you think you'd want for breakfast, insects and worms? What if mom dropped that in your mouth in the morning when you said, I'm hungry? No, thank you. I don't think that's what I'd want to eat, but baby birds think that's delicious. After two weeks, the chicks have spotted orange breasts. See their bellies? Now they're orange, aren't they? Now called fledglings, they prepare to leave the nest. The father robin teaches the fledglings to fly and how to find food, such as berries nearby. Look, there's the daddy and he's teaching the babies what is good to eat. 
and how to get off those branches down to the ground, right? By summer's end, the fledglings are almost full grown. They fly and sing and catch food on their own. When cooler, shorter days make the onset of fall, it becomes hard to find any food at all. Upon the arrival of winter snow and sleet, robins travel south in search of food to eat. When winter comes at the end of fall, are there any more berries on the bushes? Are there any more insects and worms to eat? They've all gone to hibernate, so you know what the birds do? They fly south. They fly somewhere warm for the winter, somewhere where they can find food a little easier. When will they come back? When do you think? But on an early spring morning, bright and clear, the singing robins will reappear. How do we know it's spring? What's coming back on the branches? You see the leaves coming out just like now. If you look out your window, I bet your trees are getting leaves and, and flowers on them too, right? It's springtime. The end. Thanks for sharing this book with me. I hope you guys are enjoying your spring weather and getting outside and playing and doing lots of great adventures. I can't wait to talk to you again soon. Bye.